sometimes even the simplest things can be the most beautiful. Here is everything you need to make the flower bracelet. Once you have everything you need, you're going to take your string, match up the ends, making a loop on the other end of the string. Be sure to have the ends of string matched up. While holding on to the loop, you're going to take your ends of string and you're going to wrap the string around the loop. Taking those two ends of string and running it through the next loop. While holding the loop and pulling the string until you've made the knot. Keep tightening the knot until the loop on the end is about this size. Now that the knot is tied, we're going to take our two ends of string and we're going to run them through one purple bead going in the same direction. You're going to run that bead to the top of the string. This is what it should look like. Now to lace on rows, you're going to take one end of the string and add your beads to that string. We're going to take our other end of string and we're going to run it through the beads as well, going in the opposite direction, pulling both ends of the string until you've reached the top. Keep repeating these steps when adding on additional rows. Adding your beads to the string, taking your other end of string, running it through the beads as well, going in the opposite direction, and pulling both ends of the string until you reach the top. For the fifth row, I decided to use green, which I think works best for the stem of the flower. The pattern of the flower is just as simple. It consists of a row of two, a row of three, and another row of two with a different color in the middle of the pattern. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this color scheme. Once you finish the 15th row, we're once again going to take both ends of the string and running a purple bead through both ends of the string going in the same direction. Be sure to push the bead all the way to the top. Tie off your ends of string with a basic knot to lock in that purple bead. With holding a little bit of space, we're going to take our two matched ends of string and we're going to once again make another knot by taking the string, wrapping it around, running the two ends of string through the big hole and pulling the string tight. When tightening the knot, be sure to keep some space in between the bead and knot. Let's add another bead with the two match ends of string going in the same direction, pushing the bead until you've reached the knot. Make another knot with the two match ends of string and tighten it until you've locked in the bead. Now before cutting off any additional string, be sure to try it on. Putting on the bracelet is turbo easy. You'll take the two ends of string and you're gonna run those through the loop. Squeezing the bead through the loop to lock on the bracelet. And there you have it, a perfect bracelet to wear or to share with friends. 
I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and making these bead bracelets. Let me know what you think with a comment below. And if you haven't already, you can also subscribe if you want to be notified for the newest episodes of Turbo Beads. Thanks for watching.